Yo, this is his lordship recording live from the trenches. I am, you know, a little bit under the weather, but I'm so dedicated to the art of broadcasting and recording that I am still going to push through and create content. Okay? So anyway, success. People like to redefine what success is. And um, the only thing I see is people egos being successfully stroked. So I guess you're successful when your ego is being stroked constantly. You see what I'm saying? You know, people are kind of supposed to do certain things if they want to show their appreciation, you know, especially if it's something that doesn't cost you a dime. So to hit the thumbs up, to drop uh, positive emojis in the chat room, to show up and listen, those things don't cost you a thing. And at the same time, those things don't represent monetary gain. All it does is say, hey, bro, or hey, sis, we like you. And um, we want to show you that we like you. But at the same time, let me give you another example. We used to have this freestyle night and everybody knew that, you know, you, you it's a card membership and people freestyle. But there was a community nearby and some of the dudes from that community came downtown to the freestyle club on freestyle night and they didn't understand what freestyling is. So when their friend got on stage, he was saying written lyrics and his friends knew the words and they were saying it with him. And then when they left the club, they said, we killed it, we blew it up, we, uh, we turned it out, they wasn't ready. But he didn't even freestyle. Number two, your old friends was the only ones pumping you up and saying you the shit. You see what I'm saying? So when we talk about success and being successful when it pertains to YouTube, all you have to do is the math. See, you can talk all you want. People can talk all they want and brag about this and that, but we have to we have to talk about the math. You know, the amount of subscribers versus the people that are watching that show up. And then after a few hours or so, you may have a certain amount of views, but based on your amount of subscribers, um, you do the math and you go, hey, only 20% showed up. Only 10% showed up. At the end of the day, only 15% actually viewed what you was doing. Even though it looks like a lot of people viewed or a lot of people are in your live show, if you do the math, it doesn't match up. Also, um, you know, the thumbs up. You do the math between the people who viewed total versus the amount of thumbs up then it doesn't look as good as you portray it you see what i'm saying if you got 1.7 thousand views but only 200 and something thumbs up what is that saying if you got over 4,000 subscribers but only 400 and something or 1,000 and something uh watch viewed your show and that doesn't mean that your subs watch that means that people watch but you don't know unless you tell it or show it or look at the stats you don't know how many people view versus the um subscribers versus new people now if you're not even trending when you go live how can you say that you're successful okay peace